Hey, what's up guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, and welcome back to Fucked Up Fridays. I know it's been a long time, and a lot of people have been asking for it. We finally got more time to use, so we're bringing Fucked Up Fridays back until I run out of shit to talk about. <laughs> How's that sound? Anyways, we're playing Heroes and Generals. It's a free-to-play game, more of a uh, pay-to-win game. But it's pretty cool. It's got some problems. Server lag needs to be sorted out. Uh, but it's a pretty fun game. I like the World War II games, if you haven't figured it out. Uh, anyways... Just moved into a new place, this is why there's an echo. Uh, I pretty much have my desk and a computer in this room. I gotta, f I gotta figure out how the fuck to fix the echo without buying a shit ton of furniture for this tiny ass room. But anyways, just bear with me, I'll fix it eventually. It's not that bad, it could be a lot worse. Uh, anyways, this week I'm gonna be talking about skydiving. And that's right, devil went skydiving, and I wasn't in the marines when I did it. Um, this happened probably a few months after I got out of the Marines, because I was hanging out with one of my ex-girlfriends, because I was trying to get some, and I was getting some, of course, because I always give it up. But, um, it was me, her, and her buddy. So, we're all hanging out, and just randomly, the chicks are like, let's go skydiving. And I'm like, what the fuck? And let me mention this, I'm not like a pussy or anything, I'm not really afraid of heights, but the whole idea of, like, getting strapped to a stranger... And jumping out of a plane is kind of a little bit of a f mind fuck. Like, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, uh, you know, you know, so many things could go wrong. I mean, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed death. Like, if something goes wrong, you're dead. That's it. There's not like, oh shit, I can't believe that happened. It's, oh shit, we're gonna die. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was a little hesitant. She's like, oh, you pussy, let's do it. And I'm like, whatever. So we got, we got in our car, drove up to the Sebastian Inlet, which is about an hour away from where we are. And it's a really nice area, like Sebastian's a really nice area. We went to this airfield and they're like, alright, sign all these waivers and bullshit. And so they signed all their waivers and then they went outside. So I signed all my shit, went outside. Next thing I know, they're already in the fucking plane geared up and I'm like, oh, oh, what do I do? So this guy comes out, he's like, quickly, put this on. So he's like rushing, putting this harness on me. And I'm like, dude, this is not the thing we're supposed to rush. I'm like, you know, you don't rush putting on a fucking harness that's just going to save your life and keep you alive. So I'm like, oh, it's all right. And he's like, quickly, run, get on the plane. So the plane's like spooling up, like already spooled up, ready to go. So I run into the back, hop on the door to the plane, and they shut the door. And the guy's like, oh, hi, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is what we're going to do. And I'm like, eh, all right. I'm like, this is a little sketchy. Oh man, I got a really bad heartburn. I shouldn't have ate all that pizza last night. Anyways, so we're getting up there. Plane takes off, and I'm not scared of planes. I'm like, whatever. Planes are there. And we're going up and up and up, and the whole way up, uh, my ex and her friend are fucking with me. They're like, oh man, this looks really high. Like, ooh, oh god, this is scary. You know, like trying to trying to freak me the fuck out. So I'm like looking out the window, and now I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like this. This isn't cool. I'm like, man, I'm really gonna jump out of this thing. Like, I can't even believe it. And the fucked up thing about it is, it's, it was $180. And I know some people are like, that's not a lot. I just got out of the Marines though. I didn't have a fucking job. So I was like, holy fuck. I was like, yeah, I have to do this. I was like, I just spent 180 bucks non-refundable. Like, I have to jump out of this fucking plane. Regardless of the situation. Even if the guy I'm strapped to is a complete fucktard and smells of liquor, I have to jump out of this plane because I just spent $180. I was a cheap bastard. I become a cheap bastard when I don't have a job. When I have a job, I throw money like it's fucking cool. But, um, I was a little freaked out. I was like, alright, this this isn't cool, man. $180, bucks, and I gotta jump out of this shit. Well, the cool part was, like, as we were going up, they, you're, jumping, you're pretty much jump, your jump zone is right over the inlet. So it's just crystal clear blue water. It's just, it looks beautiful. I was like, wow, this is cool. Like, you know, this it made me appreciate being home and being a civilian again because I get to see, see shit like that, not shitty brown water and fucking dirt all over the place. Um, so we're going up, and I'm like, all right. So they're still fucking with me. Like, you know, they're starting to say like, you know, oh man, you're looking nervous. You look like you're about to puke. Like all kinds of shit. And I'm like, whatever. So, you know, I turned to him and I was like, you know what, I don't give a shit. I was like, I'll fucking do this, this isn't the problem. I was like, this ain't bad. And, uh, at that point, like, they stopped fucking with me. And I started looking at them, and they look, they both look fucking terrified. Like, they look pale as fuck, they're like, oh my god. So, we start reaching the jump zone, and they open the fucking door. And, um, 
I'm like, okay, this isn't cool because I'm not strapped in or anything and the door's fucking open. And that's when everyone's like, kind of like, oh, and like all the talking ceases at that point. Like they don't talk, they don't say a word. And I'm like, whatever. So the guy that I was supposed to jump with didn't even, didn't even know his name, didn't even introduce himself. He's like, all right, come here. So he starts strapping me to him and stuff. And he's like, listen, you know, this straps to you, everything. You're going to be fine. And he's like, we're going first. And he's like, I've done this a hundred times. It's it's easy. And the guy next to him, which was jumping with uh, my ex, he's like, this is the only guy I'd let my mom jump with. You're in good hands. And I'm like, all right, that makes, that makes cool sense. So I look at everybody and, you know, they're kind of like, eh, freaking the fuck out a little bit. So I slide up to the door and I get right standing up right on there and I look out and I'm like, holy fuck. I was like, we are up here. I was like, this is crazy. Like, I feel the wind. It's cold. I'm like, oh, man. So I look at them and I was like, fuck you guys. I was like, let's do this. And so the guy, we jump out. And like, I gotta admit, for the first 10 seconds, I was terrified. I was like, holy shit. I was like, I can't even fucking believe this shit. And then after that, I was like, alright, this is actually cool. Like, it, 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 was, it was, you know, it wasn't scary anymore. We were just falling. It was, you know, it was really windy. And just enjoyed the scenery so we're falling we're falling and it seems like forever i'm like oh my god so finally he pulls his chute and i was like holy crap it felt like i was just gonna fall off like it the the, the g-force was just crazy it was just a complete stop so he pulled his chute and just enjoy the scenery go down to the airfield blah 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 and like halfway down as we're zooming down to the airfield all of a sudden he releases one of the straps to kind of get me up off his chest and he didn't say it as he was going to do it all of a sudden, I just dropped like a foot, and it scared the living fuck out of me. Like, I felt a little rumble in my tummy. Like, I thought I was going to shit my pants right at that point. Like, it, it felt like I was coming out of the harness, and I was like, as soon as it happened, I was like, dude, I was like, you got to tell me next time. I was like, that was fucking retarded. And he starts laughing. So we get down on the ground, and we land. So I'm looking up, and I'm looking for everybody else, and I'm like, where the fuck is everybody? I'm like, eh. And he's like, yeah, I don't see him. And I'm like, eh. Alright, so I go walk back, start smoking a cigarette. Of course, every jump out of a plane, you need a fucking cigarette. The plane lands. And I look in the open door of the plane, and they're both sitting there. They didn't fucking jump. So I got dragged to fucking skydiving, talked into it, and then made fun of the whole way up. And I wasn't the pussy who didn't fucking jump. Like, I was the only person who jumped. Like, it was, oh, what the fuck is that shit? So I never let him live it down. I was like, oh, you guys are fucking pussies. I was like, oh, I can't even believe this shit. I was like, I can't even believe they took me to skydive and didn't jump themselves. So I just, I fucking gave him a hard time forever about that. But I gotta say, skydiving is a lot of fun. It's definitely, everybody should do it. It should be on everybody's bucket list. I'd love to do it again, but it's expensive, and I'd love to fucking learn how to skydive and get my own chute. But that's even more expensive, so maybe someday in the future. Maybe if I get, like, a million subs and, like, five million views a day, maybe I'll take up skydiving. But I want to do a halo jump. There's a place in Tennessee that does uh, 30,000 feet halo jumps, but it's, like, seven grand for the jump. I'm like, <laughs> I can think of like 50 things better to do with 7 grand. Anyways. But we're gonna be, uh, this week's kinda weird with videos because my internet's been down, my modem died and stuff because I moved into the new place. And you know, I've been having all sorts of problems unpacking and stuff. So there's not really gonna be that many videos this week. Uh, they might be sporadic. More on the weekend. And next week too. Earlier next week you, you might not see that many videos. And that fucked hard shot me emitter. Just because I'm trying to get shit sorted out. You know, moving into a new place, you always run into problems. Like, I got my internet installed, worked great for a day, and then the next day, it was just done. And I spent like seven hours on the phone with Comcast. And then they told me the modem's dead, and I had to go take it to their office. So I stood in line at their fucking office, brought it back, had to do the fucking install again. And I was like, Jesus. I was a, I was a rage machine yesterday. <laughs> get the fuck out of my way. That was pretty much the title of yesterday. But anyways, we're bringing more back. City Life's gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna have any City Life this week because I, I haven't had a chance to get on the server. Next week, more City Life. We might bring back more DayZ. Wasteland might come up. Uh, MSO is definitely gonna come back eventually. Uh, new server's coming up. New mission file. Uh, Marine Corps Mondays will continue. Uh, War Game will continue. You guys liked War Game. Uh, 
GTA, of course. You guys love the GTA. And the DCS is all coming back. And we're going to try new games. You know, I, I have the time now. I might start doing two videos a day. Who knows? Alright, guys. Talk to you later.